on 6 September 2021, Manitya Sarvatmananda and Manitya Jyotikananda Swami were brutally assaulted both physically and sexually by an anti-Hindu militant mob. Since 6 September until 10 September, they have been running from pillar to post seeking justice. However, they have not been able to even get the complaint registered with the police. Finally, when the police accepted their complaint, they started arm twisting them and denying them their basic human rights to life by filing a false case against them and penalizing them for asking for their basic rights. This happened because Manitya Jyotikananda Swami, whom you can see in the picture, had filed in the United Nations. She and other nuns had voiced out their concerns, their, their ri human rights violation in the United Nations and submitted four reports. You can see the reports, the links of the reports on the screen. So one report they submitted on 30th April in, on 1st July and on 13th April again. So like this they submitted four reports to the United Nations about how since a decade they are being targeted by anti-Hindu militants in the state of Tamil Nadu and how in many cases the state police is also an accomplice in this violence against this marginalized Hindu community of nuns. Today on 10th September when the police finally accepted their evidence they threatened and they put false cases on them. Now these pictures which you are seeing from 6th September are pictures after the assault which have happened to them while they were traveling. You can see the medical reports on the screen. All these evidences were provided to the police. This was also reported by the media where the media had clearly mentioned that these nuns were beaten and assaulted. The very title of the media articles was that they were beaten. However, initially, the police completely refused to even accept their evidence and pressurized them to reach a compromise against their human rights and just accept that they were molested, they were violated. The police refused to accept any evidences. Since past four days, they had been running from pillar to post and even sent a complaint to international bodies as the case was made out against the militants the police was compelled to accept their complaint however there was a cost and they started to use this to arm twist them to force them to withdraw their complaint and to succumb to their pressures what the police did was they filed a counter complaint what they called was a illegal counter complaint where they said we'll accept the complaint which you gave on the physical assault you was done to you but the police by accepting a vexatious a false complaint was effectively penalizing them for pursuing for voicing out their concerns in the united nations internationally and also pursuing it locally in the police stations this is not an isolated incidence from past 10 years and actually for several decades, the Hindu nuns, the Hindu monks, and especially the Hindu nuns from very marginalized communities, Hindu communities, in particularly state of Tamil Nadu, are being victimized by new Hindutva and DK, DMK terrorists in India. You can see in picture how a Hindu nun was attacked was sexually assaulted on 7th June 2012. There's a video clip to it. It was live telecasted. This was also reported to the UN. There's a video clip to it. On 8th June, in another footage, which here we see just as a screenshot, another nun was sexually assaulted by TV channel journalist and associates of Nav Nirman Sene, a neo Hindutva militant group.
this is another attack where a nun was raped on 18th July 2017 and it was also recorded by the media and telecasted in an extremely dehumanizing way. In the picture you can see Manitya Sarvatmananda on the left trying to console her sister disciple nun and it is unfortunately Master Sarvatmananda again on 10th September 2021 where she is again having to witness such attacks on Hindu nuns. It is not just limited to these nuns, even children have not been spared by the state authorities, even the so-called child welfare commission officers who are supposed to protect the rights of children have molested children studying in Gujarat in one of the schools run by these nuns. There was a high court case, there was a case in high court filed against the government officials, the state officials because of the prima facie evidence which came out but the parents were pressurized to drop the case and all these charges were dismissed without trial. On the contrary, the new Hindutva media has marginalized and vilified and stereotyped with extremely abusive and dangerous allegations, labeling, calling them brainwashed, sodomized disciples, witches, prostitutes, cult worshippers, sex slaves. You can see a citation against all these things which they have said and all these things are reported to the United Nations in a documented format with all the evidences, with citation, with media evidences, with video evidences, with court documents, with police documents and everything. The United Nations saw these reports and published it publicly. Yet all of this has been in vain. And again, just today, this the state police of Tamil Nadu has filed a false case against rape victims to pressurize them, to penalize them because basic human rights are not being upheld in India, particularly in state of Tamil Nadu under the DMK government. And we request and we pray to the international community to condemn this violence against women.